I'm a big, big fan of uh, liberal arts education. Uh, uh, you know, to me, it's a great training ground. It's a great training ground for anything that you could possibly do. I think it makes you a more interesting person getting into your community and talking to people and uh, finding like-minded people there. Oh, I, I, liberal arts in general, and, and in particular my philosophy degree at Binghamton have influenced my life greatly. Well, the liberal arts have influenced my life in a couple of ways. I think they've enriched them a lot. You know, if I think about all the technical training I've had, whether it was in accounting and finance, uh, that all serves you very well when you're involved in business, but uh, as a person. I think it was great in terms of giving me a well-rounded um, experience, not just um, you know, the books, but also life experience. There's one of the things about a good liberal arts background is you can do almost anything you set your mind to do. The fact that I got a very full liberal arts education in Binghamton really helped prepare me for what I found when I got to law school in the Dwight case. It allowed me to go anywhere and do anything that I wanted to do with it. It's the building blocks of any good education. Had I not had a liberal arts education, I don't think I would have had the, the background to uh, quickly get on top of a lot of new facts of different concepts and so forth. And I, I attribute my success as an antitrust lawyer to my liberal arts background. Life changes very quickly, and, it, and, it, and, and technologies come and go, and, but, but the ability to reason, to question, to, to, to think widely, to, to be able to make connections from history to literature to mathematics to science, you know, that's what you get in a liberal arts education.